Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Art of Reality. The previous video we have been... Uh, we have been... Uh, we finished with the Kenyan uh, rally races of 1991 at least. And now we moved on to the next uh, country that we will be racing in in 1991 which will be Japan. And we did, we already did uh, the first stage of Japan the previous video. Right now we will continue with the next uh, stage, which is stage 2, which will take place during a sunset, apparently. Mount Akagi. Yeah, they are recycling the stages from the previous years. I don't really mind that much. It would be nice if they added subtle differences between the exact same locations in different years, so that uh, you could pick up on that if you're really careful. Like maybe they changed the level a tiny little bit, added some new environment uh, stuff, or they showed the subtle uh, technological uh, progresses in the environment, so that you couldn't have noticed it if you were paying attention. Uh, uh, that would be cool. I don't know if the game does this though. Yeah, let's begin. Begin stage. I really like uh, uh, Japanese uh, uh, rally tracks during uh, set during the sunset because they add this uh, purplish tint to the road, which I really enjoy. It combines really well with the pink of the of the of sakura trees in the environment and i think that really adds something really nice it's a nice aesthetic touch to the game oh shit we overshot it by a lot but surprisingly that did not count as a recovery i'm really happy about that Careful not to overshoot it again. I really hate this this portion of the road where you're climbing the mountain and the entire road is very zigzaggy. Like, give me a break. Just make a straight road that passes through the entire mountain on a pass or something. I think we're almost at the top of the mountain though, or the hill, or or whatever it is we're, cl we're climbing. No, it should be a mountain, it was like the level's name is Mount Akagi after all, I believe anyway. Damn, this is a long stage. Either that or we've been making really slow progress because we've we've been climbing a mountain for the past five minutes. Come on, almost there. Oh shit, we really overshot this one, but thankfully there was a that uh, that fence over there that we slammed into that fully stopped us. Like I, you would have think uh, in real life, had the car smashed into a fence, that's that uh, fin, the inertia and kinetic energy of the car would have 
and uh, and coupled with its mass would have meant that the car should have broken through the fence and made a hole in it while the car continued to slide forward. That's the most realistic outcome for it, but surprisingly the game didn't implement anything like that. I guess that, that would have been just too much complicated uh, physics logic to add to a game like this that doesn't really require it, so they just uh, said, you know what, just make the, the fence an, an, an immovable object and if the car slams into it at a high speed then so be it. It, it will look really, really fake and not uh, realistic at all, but we don't have time to implement uh, fence damage in this game. That would, would have been a nice touch, but admittedly it would have been a bit excessive. 4 minutes and 4 seconds. We are on 3rd place again. Damn, I'm doing really well in Japan. Like last uh, rally race we also ended up on 3rd place and I'm really thankful for that. We are making pretty good times with these uh, rally races. Now we're continuing with Mount Asama. So another Mount that will probably have to... Uh, meticulously climb again. I'm not a big fan of these uh, particular stages, but you know, they are what they are. Okay, time to continue. So first let's repair our car, which usually at least uh, uh, visually usually when it amounts to the car looking like it gets cleaned up and, and it had a lot of its dirt dusted off of it. That's the only visual change that I've seen that the repairs have on the models of the cars. I don't believe... Like maybe there are in-game uh, uh, mechanics where the da where the car gets damaged over time and it becomes slower or more difficult to control, but like I said in the past, I really see no point to the cleaning mechanic of the game, unless maybe it's to add uh, an an additional means of a challenge to the game, so that p uh, players that want an additional challenge boost in this game that find the uh, cars too easy to control, whoever they are might f uh, want to hold off on repairing their cars so that the cars become more and more damaged over time and eventually become more and more difficult to control uh, just so that he they have even more of an of an obstacle in driving that's that seems like a bit of an excessive measure but it's the only reason i can think of why they would want to hold off on repairing their cars in the first place because repairing as far as I've seen is done for free and there's really no reason why you would not want to do it and the car is sliding like it's on ice for fuck's sake the physics in this game are real I really like to to make the car slide for whatever reason. If you've played the Carmageddon 2 or Carpocalypse now, it's kind of like that game when you get the power up that uh, makes... I, uh, I think the power up is called Greasy Wheels or something, in which uh, the car starts uh, slipping on the ground heavily while you're trying to control it and there's almost no adhesion between the tires and the road and the car just uh, steers very very slowly. It's kind of like that controlling the cars in this game. Which is to say controlling the cars in this game is almost like a punishment. It's, it's uh, overly difficult and uh, quite unpleasant an experience. But it is what it is. We we are reaching the 10 minute limit mark for my videos. So this is so this will be the last uh, 
race that we'll be covering in this video. Let's see if we can make a good time in this race uh, as we did with the previous races. Maybe we'll end up on third place again. That would be ideal. Okay, so 3 minutes and 6 seconds. 3 minutes and 6 seconds. Okay, this time we're on 4th place. Which is not as good as 3rd place, but it's still quite impressive for my standards anyway. So I will take it. That was quite nice. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Next video will start out with uh, another nightly ra race in Nasu Highland. So this will be quite cool. But that's it for today's video. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, I have a Mastodon account as well as a Matrix room that you can join. De no, details of which you can find in the description of this video. And in the meantime, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.